offer you prayer. I would save my prayers for the wedding day. Hey, Tyler Perry, I just got done watching your film Acrimony, and I am just curious. I am dying to know your thought process when you was developing this film. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Acrimony, written and directed by Tyler Perry. I really do appreciate it. Now, as you're looking at me as I'm talking, you're probably like, Brandon, why are you not looking at the camera? I'm looking at my computer right now because I am just trying to quadruple check all the films that Tyler Perry has done. The reason why is I am not against Tyler Perry, but I can't necessarily say that I'm a fan either. But I have enjoyed a number of his films. I've, you know, I, I you know, I, I liked I Can Do Bad All By Myself. I like Daddy's Little Girl. I like Why Did I Get Married 1 and 2. I'm kind of over the Medea films. But, you know, to be honest with you, A Family That Prays is my most absolute favorite with Kathy uh, Bates. Uh, she's a fantastic actress. There was a lot of other great performances in that movie. But um, I guess enough of that. Let's just talk about acrimony. Now, the reason I mean, when I first saw the trailers for this movie, I kind of rolled my eyes like, oh, my gosh, are we getting the same thing over and over and over again? And um, I don't want to say I'm glad to say, but I, I will say that we want we're not getting the same thing over and over again. We are getting something completely different. We are getting something that Tyler Perry has never done before. And I, that w what that would be is possibly not only the worst film in 2018 so far. This is like one of the worst films I've seen in the past five years. And I, I say that with no ex with no exaggeration. Uh, I am not trying to be facetious or sar sarcastic. Tyler Perry, I'm talking to you, sir. You should be ashamed of yourself for this piece of crap film that you put together. This was ridiculous and it just makes no sense. And if this was anybody else, any unknown writer, director, producer, something like that, I may be able to give them a pass. But I'm not saying that you're the best filmmaker in the world, not even close. But I have seen you do much, much, much better than this lazy, rugged, garbage trash attempt of a film that you tried to deliver us moviegoers. And I'm beyond disappointed. What Acrimony is about. Actually, let me go ahead. Let, let's just go to school real quick. Um, do y'all even know what acrimony means? Let me go ahead and just read the definition to you. Uh, bitterness or ill feeling. OK, I, I think that's, you know, um, accurate for the title of this movie. What the, if you watch the trailers, what the trailers are leading you to believe is that. I forgot her name. Taraji P. Henson um, is married to a character. She, she plays a character by the name of Melinda. Her husband, his name is Robert, played by Lyric Bent. Um, the, the trailers lead you to believe that they are married, that Taraji P. Henson's character did everything, um, in the world imaginable for her husband. And, you know, he dumped her and let her go and was marrying some other woman and she's mad and she wants revenge and things like that. You know, that's what the trailers led you to believe. And even if that's what this movie was about, you know, we, we've seen that a ton of times before, but Hey, this could have been a completely different take. But no, uh, that's not what this movie is about. Uh, to me, they try to paint, to paint Taraji P. Henson as the protagonist or the person that you should feel sorry for. But no, she is the person that you actually want to fail just because of her character uh, decisions in this film. This is possibly the dumbest, worst written character that I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It is impossible for you to empathize, sympathize for Taraji P. Taraji P. Henson's character. It just makes no sense. She has a relationship with this. Uh, uh, Rob, she has a relationship with this character, Robert, at the very beginning of the film. They meet in college and they end up getting married. But just from the very beginning of their relationship, you're just wanting to know why are you doing these things? Melinda is a moron. And this just goes to show, like, why is she a moron? And I'm, I'm going to try my best not to spoil this and make this review too long. But and I'm also going to speak in, in general here. Ladies, if you are out there and you are in a relationship. Let me start over. Ladies, if you are out there and there is a man in your life 
that is not your family or husband or things like that, there is no rhyme or reason why you should be voluntarily giving this person thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands upon dollars over and over and over again. That just makes no sense. And Melinda is doing that. Now, people try to um, give people a pass if they do something crazy or wrong, but they're self-aware and Tyler Perry tried to do that with Melinda's character because I said she was stupid. I said she was idiotic. She is the textbook definition of dumbfounded. They tried to Tyler Perry tried to give her a pass by making her self-aware. But from the very beginning of the film, as she's narrating to us just around all the idiotic decisions that she's making, she's blaming everybody for her shortcomings, for her shortfalls. And I'm just not getting on board with it. The acting in this movie is atrocious. Nobody in this film can act. I don't understand because you have Taraji Pence in this film. She can act, but she is overacting because everybody else that she is surrounding herself with can't, you know, it's like a kindergarten, fifth, you know, not fifth grade, five year old, six, six year old school play or something like that. So where the parents just show up and of course they're not going to say the children suck because it's their kids. They're just proud of the damn kids up there. But that's how everybody else is being portrayed in this movie. Just like, you know, simpletons, just non-experience. I mean, like, I don't even, gosh, I, 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 don't, I don't want this review to be long, but at the same time, I want to talk about two hours, just how horrible this film is. Let me slow down. Let me get myself together. The characters in this movie, the main one being Taraji P. Henson, um, she's an idiotic moron. That's one thing. And not only that, that is the writing behind her character and the rest of the movie is crap, too. The budget for this film was possibly twelve dollars. There was a number of scenes where they tried to use a green or blue screen and you can just tell it was fake. It just wasn't real. Um, just so many things are wrong with this film. Just like the setting, knowing when to like with the editing, knowing when to start a scene, knowing when to end the scene, knowing what's actually necessary. OK, I mean, then you don't need if somebody's walking out of a house, you don't need to show them walking out of the house, checking their watch, going down the stairs all the way across the lawn, all the way across the parking lot. You know, you know, showing them trying to get into the key, the, put the key in the car and open it up, trying to, do, you know, you don't you don't have to show the whole thing. I mean, like just wasting minutes upon minutes in the film and this thing came in in like two hours and this could have been like 45 minutes, to be honest with you. But you don't need to see that. I mean, it's just things like that. The, the film is so bad that it's undescribable because I'm having a hard time right now just describing this, you know, to you right here. The film was so bad. The people get people left the film. Um, these two, it was predominantly black people in this film, but it was these two white guys. Of, well, I think they, I think they were white. They were to my left. People were giving up on the film to where they just didn't care anymore. They was laughing. I was sitting next to a stranger, this older, older black woman. She was so nice. She was so sweet. We started joking, laughing at the film together. Like, what the hell is going on? You know, screaming at the film. But that's okay because the whole theater was doing it because it was just that crap. I mean, like none of the characters in this movie were realistic. Her husband, L Lyric Bent, Robert, he was like, he was a deadbeat. He was dreaming that he was going to be an astronaut flying around the solar system. I mean, that's just not realistic. I mean, he was an engineer trying to make this self-charging uh, battery, and he was de depleting their family, all of their money, and just like millions of men, like... <laughs> Hold on, guys. Like uh, this movie is so bad, I can't even. I, I can't get my. I can't get my thoughts together. It's that sorry. This movie sucked. This movie was lazy. The characters were lazy. The dialogue was lazy. The script was lazy. The editing was lazy. The story was lazy. It just didn't make any sense. To what like. It is beyond me. You saw me drinking bleach into the in in the thumbnail. It's like. Who in their right mind would green like this? When Tyler Perry was done writing the script for this movie and turned it into like Taraji P. Hey, Taraji P. Hey, Taraji, you know, I've been wanting to work with you again for a long time. You know what I'm saying? I got the script right here called Acrimony. You know what I'm saying? Here you go. I mean, the, the Taraji P. look at the thing go like, like, okay. Oh, man, this is good. Okay, yeah, we can do this. I'm all on board. We know, where do I sign? Did the executives at the studio, were they like, oh, my gosh. 
Tyler Perry, I cannot believe this. You, you, you know, you did it again, my brother. You did it. Man, I cannot, like, you know, what, what do you need? Like, I don't understand how anybody could be on board with this. This is the dumbest movie in the whole world. Like, real talk. Taraji P. Henson's character is so, like, I was finna cuss, you know. Okay, I don't, I don't even care about spoiling. Nobody's gonna go see this movie. Uh, spoilers are coming right now. No. God, dog. It's so I want y'all to go see it because this movie is so bad. You know what I'm saying? I paid for this movie too. Actually, no, I didn't. God. Taraji P. Henson's character put up with a colossal amount of bullshit in this movie for 18, 19, 20 years. You know what? I don't even care anymore. Like, guys... This movie sucks. If I'm going to rate this movie out of a 1 out of 10, I give it a 1 out of 10. Yes, a 1 out of 10. I don't even want to talk about it no more. I was going to get into it, but it, it just, it just, it's just a horrible film. It, it, it just is. There's nothing good about it at all. A faithful wife, tired of standing by her devious husband, is enraged when it becomes clear she has been betrayed. That is a lie. That is not what, that is just not what happened at all. Um, this is just a horrible movie. I, I don't know. I may come back and want to do a part two or something like that, but I, I, you know, I'm i done. I'm done. Um, subscribe to my channel. Have you seen this movie? Let me know what you think. Comment below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine, but you can still subscribe to my channel. Look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff is there at the bottom of the screen, and I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review of Acrimony, a horrible film. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.